Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for keeps She like to suck on the road Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Coach DC coming back at you again, man, with another video. Um, first of all, man, the channel is uh, yes, yeah, taking off, man, growing by leaps and bounds. With my boy Howard is cutting out. Y'all don't see Jameis out here, man. All that Jameis hate gonna stop out here, man. But man, the channel's growing by leaps and bounds, man. I appreciate all the participation, man. Um, share the channel, man. You know, tell your boys about it. You know, after you get tired of beating them, you know, let them know what's up. So, I'm gonna do today, man. Been, you know, monitoring the comments as always, man, and uh, answer a few questions and myths because we are going to take a trip back into the low touch and i'm gonna give you guys the the advanced course you know featuring old, my boy Jameis right now shout out to shout out to Jameis, man yeah so you know i, I see you know uh, a lot of guys are, are trying to figure out how to, how to do the catching thing and a lot of the issues you guys may be having is your throws dots James dropped that thing in there. James, they said you weren't accurate. Man, they tripping. So, in this video, I'm just gonna gonna get a little bit advanced, man. We we gonna I'm gonna show you exactly how 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 deadly this low touch thing really is, man. Watch this comeback route right here, man. This is I'm telling y'all the comeback routes. The comeback route to me is the most dangerous route on the game, most unstoppable route on the game, man. The man can't stop it. Most zones can't stop it. You have to user it or you have to, to combo it somehow, man and zone. Uh, that That's nasty right there. The comeback route, especially with the low touch and, and the mechanic for the low touch, fellas, don't, don't believe, look at that, another comeback. But don't believe that because you're, you're, you're hitting the low the, or the L trigger or the low ball that it has to be a low ball. That's a myth, that's, that's nonsense. No, it doesn't have to be a low ball. Now how this is exactly done is you're throwing the ball first. You do not hold the trigger button before you're throwing. No, that's gonna kill you. Because the, the especially if you have it completely depressed. Look at that, nice third down. Saw the hole in the zone, just dropped it right in the bucket. So like, watch this. This nice, nice, nice corner route. I see him playing underneath as a user it didn't matter oh time out we pause for a don't test my user moment hey man doesn't matter who you play with fellas if you're doing the right things and you know you know a lot of guys get a little get a little you know testosterone gets up in the comments and start challenging me and whatnot hey don't don't get it twisted <laughs> it is not sweet man <laughs> i will make you put this down <laughs> get wrong drop that thing back in that bucket but anyway so uh, the way the throw is made is you're gonna throw first so you're hitting your 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 receivers uh icon first so right as the ball is about to be released you will depending upon what kind of throw you're trying to make you will either tap or, or like not even depress all the way down the trigger button. It's, it's on the release, fellas. It's not a part of the throw before you make the throw. You're gonna make the throw like you normally make the throw and do your lead the way you normally make your lead. Although I'll tell you, once you start doing this, it'll totally make you go back and, and throw every route you've ever thrown and, and, and it'll change everything you've ever known about that route because you'll be able to throw routes in different places, you know? So see, like like when I'm able to spread the ball all over the field, look at this guy, he's he's up top on the user because he's afraid of the corner route. And I know that, and I'm looking at it, he's sitting on it. And watch this, 
couple drags. Oh, Jameis under pressure. Jameis gets rid of it. Oh, and Perryman, you know, as we bob and weave our way into the end zone, you know. So let's get into this practice mode, man. Let's talk about this stuff. All right. So, like I said, it's it's. I can throw one route, probably three or four to five, depending upon the situation, different ways. And because I've been doing this for a, a decent amount of time, to me, it's natural to make certain throws. Let's let's do some housekeeping, because you know. The detractors, you know, somebody will come and say, hey, your settings were you were playing on pro or you were playing on <laughs> KO or whatever that is. So just to show you, I'm on all Madden. I, I if like I said, man, if, if I had to alter attributes to play this game, man, I, I would not play this at all. <laughs> like, I have no idea who wants to do that. I, I don't want to win that bad. <laughs> I'd rather out coach you and out play you. But anyway. All right, look at James standing tall in the pocket. Nice throw, nice dot. I'll call that one a dot. Um, even better catch, even better catch. Let's walk back through it. And, and let me, let me, y'all, y'all know, y'all know how I do. I'm gonna drop a pocket presence gem on y'all at some point when I get to a, a, a good enough clip. Uh, I'm going to show y'all how to how to stand in the pocket, how to stop drifting so much in the pocket. Something I had to learn. Uh, actually, I've been doing it for years, but had to kind of, you know, revamp, revamp my whole pocket presence thing on this game because of the way the pressure comes from the outside and all that stuff. But anyway, I right, so look at the nice low touch throw. This is not a bullet pass so much, but I did tap the L trigger just enough to get the ball down. And, and I'm telling you, you will make these catches if you can click on and, and do the possession catch thing that we talked about. Like I said, I don't hit, I do not hit the catch button as soon as I throw the ball. No, I'm clicking on and I'm moving the guy and then get to the spot. And then I, as I hold A, I finish with the left stick. So I'm, I'm either coming back to the ball, I'm, I'm leaning away from contact, I'm bodying up somebody or whatever, but we'll, we'll get into that in a couple of clips. All right. so. Got a good, good, nice little cover five defense. I'm not going to drop my end over there just because it's, it's, it'd be a waste of time at this point. So, but got that middle read on the field. And I have that middle read there because the middle read makes it very difficult on the, on the cross, on that first, that longest vertical crosser. So watch how the middle, the middle read is going to pick that up. You know, I've covered that in a couple of the videos, but look at how they cover that. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> The low touch. Oh, we, we ball spinning. Yeah, we, wow. <laughs> Guys, ball spinning. But anyway, okay, so, so hey, uh, totally unrelated to this video, but look at my pocket presence. Fellas, especially you guys who stay in the shotgun, once the ball is snapped, it, before the ball is snapped, you should already be holding your stick to the right or to the left. Once you catch the ball from the center, let it go, and your quarterback will stop immediately. He will not take any drop steps. That's how you keep changing your point, and you kind of buy yourself extra time doing that. But anyway, so anyway, on this one, look at the click on. Look at a linebacker doing what he does in Madden. Just stand there and watch as the ball goes right over his head. <laughs> and Hudson, I don't even know who Hudson is, but man. Um, maybe I should look at his attributes because I've never heard of him. Oh, and the ball spin. <laughs> Kid has swagger. But see, okay, so that's my defense. All right, so let's say you're going against a traditional cover three where the guy just uses one guy and then lets the other guy roam the middle, whatever. It's, it's, it's so much easier, especially with the low touch, because what you, what you want to do is you want to get the ball over the linebacker. So you're not going to totally bullet pass it, but you're just going to give it like a medium bullet pass. But upon release, you're going to you're going to pop the left trigger button just a tad. And what that does is I've said it in the, in the first low touch video is that brings the ball down. And so watch as I click on right in space and watch my first step as I click on. Bam, look at me turning my shoulders. 
because now I'm pushing back with the left stick towards the ball. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm holding A, I'm on the left stick pulling back towards the ball and down. That's how I'm able to hang on to the ball. You know, as you guys saw during the clips and all that stuff in, in the other videos. And so it's, it's, just, it's just a matter of knowing the throw. Huh. See what you wanna do, that's actually a bad throw because I led him way too much into the hit. I didn't want him to get hit. So I should be able to throw that ball and get him down way, I mean, like long before that, you know. But it's, it's just a matter of just knowing, knowing what throw to make at what time. Now that, on that particular play, like on this, this, this underneath crosser here, I can throw this ball so many different ways and I can just throw it right where he is. That is the kind of, of control the low touch gives you. Trust me when I tell you this, fellas. You can throw the ball exactly where you want to throw the ball. Like on this play, I threw it to his inside shoulder because I wanted him to shy away from the hit. And so the thing is, it, it, I can throw it to his inside shoulder. I can throw it to his, his, his feet. I can throw the ball pretty much anywhere I want to. Like right there, that's I lead him right through the hole. So if I don't feel like, like they're gonna converge fast enough, I can throw it right in the hole where he can get in and actually rack catch it, you know? And so the thing is, like I said, the mechanic is to hit the catch button. I mean, not the catch button, the throw button. Oh, see, I'm talking too much. But what happened there was if, if you, I guess if you don't throw the ball and then you tap that left trigger, it's gonna take the icons away. So just be aware of that, but anyway. See, right there. Just put it right on him. I mean, right on. This is this is Jameis. People, you know, people, people, some people don't think too highly of Jameis, especially not on the game. But the thing is, with the low touch, I, I, I'm telling you, I can throw the ball with any quarterback. I just probably need a, a, a few minutes or an hour or so to work with him so I know what his, his arm strength is and all that stuff. Because some quarterbacks, the arm strength is going to be different, so you're going to have to adjust how you do it. But look at that, right in the bread basket, man. I mean, right in the basket. He doesn't even break stride. He gets an extra four. You know, I mean, if you want to throw it deep to the corner, that was like good coverage of uh, McCourty, I think that was. Let me see. Uh, where was I? Okay. And so, as as you see, I don't know, break. I guess that is. I don't know whoever that is breaking across. And so, you know, McCourty's already sitting there. He's basically running a route for him at this point. So, ball's low touch. Look at me. Click on, make contact, stick my arm through his back somehow. And whoa, almost actually caught that. Let's see something. Or did I catch it? No. See, he, the, the McCordy actually didn't have anything to do with it. The ground caused that. Look at that. He has the ball, just couldn't, just couldn't secure it. Hmm. But that's what the low touch will do. If you're able to click on and reposition your guy really fast, and get on the button at the right time, and 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 finish your catch. You know whether you're coming back for the ball, whether you're going down, catching the ball, you're, you're sliding away from contact. It, all this stuff works together. And again, it doesn't matter who you play with, play to the strength of your team. Like some teams, yeah, it's gonna be more difficult to do it. Yeah. I'm not saying you can just do it with anybody because, well, you can do it with anybody, but, but you're gonna have to figure out that team it is right there. Another one, I mean, that right on his inside shoulder, man. Like. This is, this is, I mean, I've gotten to this point with it where I can put the ball basically where I want to. So as he comes across and he begins to clear, I see McCordy coming back, so I don't want to throw it into him. So look, I, I'm throwing it to his inside shoulder and that's exactly where the ball goes. That's exactly where it goes. I mean, so like even on the post route, look at that, same thing. Come on. You've seen guys catch that ball and keep running. How many guys you've seen catch that ball and get down on sight, <laughs> as they say? Yeah, or maybe I said that wrong, I don't know. But anyway, so I mean, this is even on the jam. So he comes into the, you know, it's, it's one of those deep skinny posts right there. And look at that ball thrown, great timing, clicked on, 
as always. Pow, right there. And then watch, watch me stop him. So now I'm pulling, I'm pulling the stick back towards the ball. I'm holding A and I'm, hey, I didn't even get touched. Actually, I thought I got hit. I didn't even get touched. And I mean, so many different ways you can do it, man. But the low touch, I'm telling you, this throws, uh, look at that. (laughs) Yeah, like that. Let's take a look at that. Let me show you something. Show you show you guys something else about the click on and, and, and how you maneuver your guy. Sometimes it can be subtle. <laughs> Shout out to my, my dog, the fruit man. He, he, he taught me that. He's a youngster. He's like DC is about the subtleties. <laughs> the subtleties. Look at this. Now watch that. Ah. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna show you. Look at that. Look at Chung. Chung's doing what he's supposed to do. Just didn't get there. Now watch me as this is what I was just talking about. Look at me, I'm, now I'm pulling the stick. So I guess f- from me throwing, I'm pulling the stick back to my left as I'm holding A because I'm bracing for the hit. Or I'm trying not to get hit, it's hard. Now look, he goes immediately down. And, and, I, and actually I don't even get hit at all, you know. You know, normally there would be a crash at the end. But but here, look at the click on, look at the, the, the inside step, and now watch me go right back up the field. See, that inside step is what draws him up. It's not the ball. See, in Madden, you know, the it, it, I don't know what the algorithm is, but they're going to play the receiver to the ball or ball to the receiver, whatever. But once you see me makes that, make that inside step, watch him, he's gone. And so when I go behind him, see, normally they come to you. He went for the ball because he thought that's where I was going. And as usual, ah, hey man, Gilly, you're gonna be getting an email from the league office at some point in time. This is getting absurd. You got your head hunting and whatnot. So, I mean, but it works on every route, fellas. The low touch, throw and then tap. Throw, tap, throw, tap. Same catch right there. You know, sometimes you run that corner route and he's in a cover three. And so uh, the corner's trying to maintain his outside leverage. So he's coming up from your outside. Look at look at Gilmore. He's maintaining his outside leverage the way he's supposed to. And watch him break. Gilly breaks fast. Look at him. He, he's, he's breaking on throw. So because I kind of knew that and I was trying to avoid that, that linebacker from jumping back up into the play, I, I low touched it, but I low touched it back to his inside shoulder. As you see the click on, as always. And then now I'm pulling back at a diagonal towards the ball. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, it, there's nothing that can be done. That is in, that's, 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 that's in a triangle. And you're dropping it right in the middle. Look at that. Like once I'm like that and you're not there, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing, I don't, I, I don't care who you are. There's nothing you can, only Madden can save you. Okay, let me stop. Because, boy, I have seen some some weird stuff happen. But anyway, so look, right there, back to the inside shoulder, hang on, first down, you know. And that's what this stuff is all about, man. This little touch, it can be thrown on any route, any ball. Look at this. Ah. That's that EBP. (laughs) That's elite ball placement. (laughs) That's not a dot. A dot is beneath that. He didn't even have to move on that. This is Jameis, people. This is not Tom Brady, as I've been told. You can only do that with Tom Brady. No, 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 sir. (laughs) That is fiction. Look at this. Look at Jameis. And I mean, like, right on the, I mean, like, like, you couldn't throw a better ball. Watch him. He didn't move. He doesn't move. He just stands there. Look at Gilly, don't know what to do. Probably thinking about that fine from the league that's coming. But one more time, I mean, just just like, man, you, you couldn't find a better throw than this anywhere. Practice mode, game mode, anywhere. Look at this, this is Jameis. This is not Tom, not Aaron Rodgers. Ah, man, but anyway. 
I just wanted to sure you guys up on some things, man. And, and just know, man, you can do this stuff. And you can do this stuff against anybody, man. Now, get off YouTube, hit the lab, come back to the comments. Let me know, man. Let me know your su success stories, man. I, I want to hear about it, man. The best comments to me are the guys who, who haven't been playing and saw a video. It's like, man, I'm picking it back up. And that, man, that makes me feel good, man. That's what it's all about, man. Let's have fun, folks. Coach DC, I'm out.